Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and today I am going to be doing my very first monthly favorites video. I had been debating about doing this video for a while and I thought, what the heck? I was a little nervous that I wouldn't have enough products to like make it interesting, but as soon as I started putting together some products of either that I've picked up in like the last month or so, or stuff that I've recently found in my collection that I've been like using a lot lately, I had actually a lot of stuff. So I thought that I would just show you guys what I've been liking lately. So we're just gonna jump right in. <laughs> So I'm going to start with some face products. First off is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have it in the shade Buff Bisque. Um, I actually recently picked this up like about a week ago or so, but I've used it like every day since I've had it and I really enjoy it so far. I do think the color isn't an exact perfect color for me, but it's pretty dang close. And I like that it comes with like this little spatula, it makes it super easy to apply. Yeah, it's a little warm for me right now, but I figure in a few months this will probably be a perfect shade. And right now I just kind of put it on pretty light and sheer it out, and then I just add concealer and it doesn't look too dark. Anyways, this is what I'm wearing today. Um, the few days that I have worn it so far. Um, it lasts all day. It really helps my skin stay matte and there's not really, like I don't get super oily or shiny. It's not super matte and cakey either. So I've been really liking this so far. Um, even though the shade isn't perfect, I think it will be in like a few months, but it's been working so far. Next, it is the Balm Manizer Sisters the Luminizing Collection. I really like this. The shades are so pretty. You get these like three different shades. I've been using them as like a bronzer, blush, and highlight. I believe they're all highlights, but I have super fair skin. And so I use the darker shade kind of as like a, like a bronzer just all over. I definitely don't contour with it by any means, but these are all so pretty, super buttery, really pigmented. But here's like some little swatches on my fingers. Ooh. So they're super pigmented, especially that bronzer. It just goes on so nice. And it blends out really well. So I mean, obviously that's like super dark on my skin, but it blends out beautifully. You can just go in with like a big fluffy blur brush and like put it all over your face. Just warm it up a lot. It gives it a nice shimmer, but it's not like too shimmery. It's not sparkly. It just it looks good, which is why it's a favorite. And it lasts all day. I'm a fan. Next face product, it's this Essence Pure Nude Highlight and Be My Highlight. And this is another, this one's a little more subtle than that, um, the balm one. But it's a little bit of a different shade. Here it is at the bottom compared to that balm one. Um, it's a little bit warmer, a little more orangey, peachy toned. It's really pretty for every day. It's what I have on my face today. I just, I'm a big fan and it's like three, four dollars or something. So definitely like it. Next is this Essence Color Correcting Mattifying Powder. I actually picked this up for a video I did a few days ago. Um, it was like the nothing over $5 challenge because I didn't have like a any kind of like powder. I like to, once I have all of my face makeup on, I like to take like a mattifying powder and just put it all over to kind of set things, blend things out a little bit more. And so I picked up this. I think I got it from Target. I honestly don't remember. But it's like this little color mosaic kind of a thing. And... I feel like it doesn't really pick up, a, it's not like super colorful, so like here it is, it's kind of greenish almost, comes off white, but when you put it on with like a fluffy brush, it just, it set things, sets things really nice. I've been really liking it. So, and this is another super inexpensive one from Essence. Next, I have two face, two blushes actually, 
that I've had in my collection for a long time. I haven't really been using them lately. And so first is this e.l.f. blush in the shade Blushing Rose. I just got back into using this kind of like this last month. It's this really pretty rosy shade. It's pretty deep actually. Here it is here. It's just like a nice rosy color, hence the name, Blushing Rose. Um, but there is definitely some shimmer in it, almost kind of like a golden shimmer. But it's really pretty. That's what I'm wearing today on my cheeks. Next is this Bare Minerals Ready Blush in the shade Indecent Proposal. This I have had for about a year now. And I go back and forth on liking it and not not liking it, just kind of forgetting about it. And so it's this really pretty like mauve -y color. It's this really pretty mauve color. And here it is. It's another kind of deeper shade. But compared to that e.l.f. one, it's definitely more purpley mauve color. I'm a little careful with both of these blushes, kind of where I put them. I like to focus them like really on the cheeks or like right on the apples of the cheeks and kind of blend them up as opposed to have like some other lighter, more neutrally color blushes that I just kind of put all over the place. Um, but my makeup today has kind of been like my go-to since I got my hair done where it's a little bit lighter and brighter. I feel like I just needed to change things up with how I was doing my face makeup. So how I've been doing it the last few days has been using the Wet n Wild foundation and just doing like a really sheer finish of, and then I go in with some concealer under my eyes and just brighten things up a little bit. And then I've been skipping like contour or bronzer or anything. And I've been setting with um, just some, like setting under my eyes with some powder and then going in with this blush from e.l.f. just on my cheeks and then doing a little bit of highlight and then just setting everything again with that essence powder. And I've been really into that look. Um, it's kind of fresh, clean, simple. And then my eyes have just been like super simple. I've just been using, um, just been using eyeshadow primer to make sure that uh, I have a nice slate to put everything on. Well, I mean, there's not really much I'm putting on, just a little bit of eyeshadow, um, which leads me to my next favorite. Actually, is the Morphe. Kathleen Lights eyeshadow palette. I have used this a few times in videos, um, but I just, the shades in here are like everything you could need for so many looks. But so I've been taking this matte cream color and just putting it all over my lid and then taking like some of this shimmer color or just another shimmery pale color and kind of highlighting my brow bone and the inside of my, the inside corners of my eyes. Um, and then just going in with some black liquid liner, which is also my next favorite. This is a new eyeliner I've tried. It's from Essence, and it is the Dip Eyeliner in Waterproof, and it's in black, obviously. I have been a really big fan of the Essence Felt Tip Eyeliner, and I was going to repurchase it, and then I saw this, and I was like, you know what? I've never tried that. I think I'm going to give that a shot. Uh, it's really interesting. It's not a brush and it's not like a felt tip. It's interesting. It's not super precise is the only downfall with this is it's kind of a blunt edge, but it just it's like super black, dries down really matte and it lasts all day. So I've been into this like thicker black line lately and every other eyeliner I've had has like either creased up into my crease or like gone below my eyes and since I've been using this for like the past few days it is not budged like it doesn't move and that's exactly what I want and so definitely a big fan of this you should try this out and it's like two dollars three dollars or something really inexpensive highly recommended Ooh, I forgot a face product. I started moving on to other things and I forgot this little guy. This is the Temptu Base Smooth and Matte Primer. Primer. I got this in my Ipsy bag this month, so in January I got it. And I wasn't super excited about it, honestly. Um, it's kind of a weird texture. Like you put it on and it's super liquidy. I was saying in my Ipsy unboxing that it's almost kind of like a gel, 
Like it's definitely not silicone feeling. It's not like a cream. It's just really liquidy. And for a mattifying and smoothing primer, I thought it would be kind of silicone-y, but it just blends out super clear. There's nothing too crazy about it when you put it on your skin. I don't notice like an immediate difference of um, like correcting some of my tonal issues on my face. I don't notice anything until like halfway through the day and I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, my makeup is like still in place and it still looks great. And I feel like this has got to be what's different because I have changed. I mean, I started using this a few days ago, but before that I was just doing my normal everyday kind of makeup. And so this is the only thing that was changed and it just it helped so much. So I'm a big fan of this. I don't know if I'll buy a big version, but I was just definitely surprised with this little Epsi sample. And I've used it like two weeks now and it's like down to here because it spreads so far and you don't need a lot. So I'll probably be using this for at least another month. So I like it. Way to go, Epsi. Um, a few more eye products. This was another, so this is the Jordana Best, La Best Lash Extreme. Um, I picked this up for that under $5 video as well, and I had mentioned in that video when I put it on that I really liked the look that I was getting from my lashes, and I do. It's so good, and it doesn't go anywhere. Like, just like that eyeliner, like I put it on, and it doesn't smudge, it doesn't like get, doesn't like flake off, and so I've been a big fan of this so far. And I appreciate that it's not waterproof. I have a new favorite eyeshadow combo. And it is the Essence Eyebrow Designer Pencil in the shade Blonde. Um, it's really nothing special. Like it's just a sharpen, like you have to sharpen it. It's not super skinny. The shade is just so pretty. You can barely see it here. That's kind of what I like about it. I've been into more of a natural brow, and so being able to go in with this and be able to not be like super heavy handed, or I can be heavy handed and it's not gonna look crazy, is really good. And then I go in with this Essence Make Me Brow Mascara, or Eyebrow Mascara, to just kind of set things in place, and just like sweep it up through my eyebrows, and it just it sets everything really nice, and this combo, is great. The shade is for both of these are so good and it just it makes my eyebrows look really great. What else can I say? I like it. Um, I do have a favorite brush. I've had this for a few months but I've been reaching for this a lot this month and it's this e.l.f. <sighs> I hate that they don't put the names on them anymore. I don't understand that because I don't remember what this is called. I think it might be like a blush brush. But it's kind of, I mean, it goes more tapered at the top, and it's like thinner on one side than it is if you flip it this way. And it, I, it's great for everything. I use it to set underneath my eyes. I can use it to like contour. I can use it as a blush brush. I can use it for highlight. I just, it's so great. And it's, I think this is a $3 one. So this is definitely one of my favorites. Been using it all month for everything few lip products. They're all of the liquid lip variety. First is the Ciate London Liquid Velvet Lipstick and it's in the shade Pin Up. I got this in an Ipsy bag as well but this was last month's in December's and I hadn't used it after I got it for maybe about a week or so. Look how pretty that is. Um, I've been using it or I hadn't used it and my sister also gets Ipsy. She had texted both me and my other sister and was like, oh my gosh, you guys have to try this lip product. I got it in my Ipsy bag. It's so good. I wore it to an event and we were eating and everything and it still looks great after. And I was like, hey, I, I got that in mind too. I'll have to try it because I hadn't up to that point. So it looks great if you put it on like opaque like this. But what I've been liking to do lately is kind of just put it on a little bit and blend it out. So I was gonna do it for you here on camera because examples are good. So just a little tiny bit weird looking. I 
kind of just focusing the pigment more towards the middle of the lips and then blending it out a little bit. I just really like the look that it gives. It's super easy. It's not too like crazy. You're not going to have to worry about wearing a lip liner with it or like making sure that it's like perfectly all around your lips. It just, it's easy. It looks kind of more natural. You can like barely feel it. Even when you do wear this like fully opaque like this, it's super comfortable. It's not transfer proof, so it's not like a liquid lipstick. It's more of like a cream, which they call it a liquid velvet. So it'll definitely like move. And if you're eating, it's going to move a little bit, but it does last a long time, especially if you're wearing it like this. I don't know why it makes it last longer, but it just, it works. Next is this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick. I have it in the shade Nudist Peach. I'm definitely up for trying different colors. I just haven't picked a color yet. So here's a little swatch of swatch here. This is definitely like a peachy nude color. It looks really good on my skin tone. It just kind of like brightens things up a little bit. It just, it lasts a long time and it looks really good. Next is this Tattoo Junkie Lip Paint. It's like a liquid lipstick. Um, the packaging has all rubbed off because it's been in my purse a lot the last month or so. Um, this is in the shade Minx. It's like this brownish gray color. It's really different. So you can see it there. It's very, again, it's like a really different color, but every time I wear it, I get lots of compliments. These do dry down definitely to like a liquid lipstick where it's gonna dry down. It's pretty much transfer proof. Like these last all day. I have another shade. It's in the shade Bubblegum. Um, I don't really like this one. Uh, it's interesting. These come with like pigment to put on top of it. So this one came with um, like a shimmer, like loose pigment. It looks interesting too. I probably wouldn't normally wear it like ever, but if I was like doing something really fun or like a random makeup look, it'd be really cool to do. And I haven't tried it as an eyeshadow yet, but it'd probably be really pretty because it's like a really nice like taupey bronze color. So it'd be something I need to try probably. So that does it for my favorite makeup. I have a few skincare items because I've been trying a lot of new skincare lately. So I thought I would just share with you some of those favorites. Um, first are a few items that I got for Christmas as well. This is the Mario Badescu um, Cleansing Milk with Carnation and Rice Oil. Been really liking this. I use it at night. You just need like a tiny bit. Um, I first start with like removing my eye makeup and then I just used a little like pea size of this and then just rub it all over my face. And then you just take a damp like washcloth and wipe it off and it like removes everything like I use a toner after and there's like no makeup residue this is great it doesn't dry your skin out it's just highly recommended for taking off makeup for just like a nice cleansing it's, I like it um, another one that I got for Christmas is another Mario Badescu item and it is a rose hips nourishing oil I have pretty oily skin but in the winter time, especially here in Minnesota, with the wind and like the really cold temperatures, my skin gets like dry and flaky in certain areas, but then like oily still in other places, it's really annoying. Um, but this has been a huge help for those times when I have like dry flaky skin in certain areas. It just does a really great job at nourishing my skin. I use it morning and night. I've noticed a big difference. You just use like two drops and just rub it all over your face. Something I picked up this month is another Mario Badescu item. It is this glycolic acid toner. I've been really liking this lately. Um, before, I have been using this Pixie Glow Tonic. I've used this for probably over a year and I really like that. But I just, I had to buy it like every month because it's only what is it, like three ounces, 3.4 ounces, and it's $15 for three ounces. This is $18 for eight ounces. I've had this for probably about three weeks now, and I've used only that much, so hopefully this will last a lot longer than the Pixie one. I just figure it has really similar ingredients to the Pixie one. It has a 
glycolic acid, obviously. Um, there's like aloe vera, which is also in the pixie one. So I thought that this would be a good thing to try out. I've noticed glycolic acid has done great things for my face in the past, and so I just wanted something else to try, and I've been really into Mario Badescu lately. Another favorite that I have been liking a lot this month, so the Formula X Prime Excel and the Shine Excel. So this is kind of like a nail primer and then like a top coat. I have been really liking these a lot lately. Um, I had never used them with other, other products than what came in this little kit. I was sent this by Influencer a few months ago, and um, this just really isn't my color. And I honestly didn't really like how this one wore. It goes on really thick, so it chips off super easily. But, so I didn't realize that you could use these with like other nail polishes. I thought this was like a special set. But then I saw other people on YouTube talking about how they love this with their regular nail polish, and I was like, Okay, I'm gonna try that. So I have it on my nails right now with like this iridescent color and it definitely helps. I usually like gel nails, but that's like a huge process. It takes like an hour to do that. And these dry super fast, but these are highly recommended. I really like these together. So those are my favorites for the month of January. I was, I had a few products that were like not really that great that I tried and so I was considering doing like a favorites and like not so favorites um, but I thought I would save it for a separate video just kind of keep those products for a little bit and then talk about those maybe when I have a bunch of them because I only have like two things right now and that's just kind of weird so thank you for joining me today I hope you guys liked this video if you could please push the thumbs up button down below and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel I'd love to have you around and I hope you guys have a great start to your week and until Friday bye guys my face is like not an oil field what that's not a thing my face is not like an oil spill that thing and so